Hi there, I'll be quick. Um, this is, I think this is the fourth time. It won't let me upload it. Anyway, my um, proposal is to the homeless apathy I see in Huntington Beach as well um, as Orange County in general. Um, so typically there's, you know, there's a lot of stigma around homelessness, you know, in a community meeting they're talking about this, you know, they really conceptualized homeless people as being this really huge dangerous other that is a criminal, that's mentally ill, that's drug addict, that's there by choice, um, which is all, you know, there's a small population that are, I'm sure, but it's not a majority. Um, and so typically what residents will do is they'll see a homeless person on the street or um, sleeping in front of a business and they'll call the police officers to make a citizen complaint about, you know, something. Um, during this time, so my intervention would begin here. So when the dispatcher would answer the phone, they would they'd say, oh, hold on one moment, let me transfer you to a homeless task force officer. And during this whole time, um, Professor God Godlin, Godlin, the Just Like Me meditation would kind of um, pipe into their ear, either that or Professor Elkman's you know, self-compassion meditation um, that we did um, in her lecture. So that would hopefully create like a sense of stability or you know, decreased in rage. Um, maybe also hopefully invoke a sense of compassion while they're actually seeing this homeless person um, or if they're you know, in their car and they're thinking about it. After the police officer would ha obviously have to answer the phone and when they told them the unfortunate circumstances that they can't enforce, you know, anti and um, anti encampment ordinances, they can refer them to a website. And so this website will be the other leg of the compassion intervention, which there'll be three parts to it. One will be that it, <sighs> prominently features, you know, videos of homeless people, but in a way that doesn't, you know, it's not a negative connotation. It's not focused on their, you know, filth or, you know, disease, but rather, um, you know, what their life was like before they're homeless, if they were mothers or if they were carpenters or, you know, they're really they're awesome guitarists as well as share their struggles and their own, you know, personal narrative. The second leg of that website will be like, how are, you know, homeless people giving back to the community members? Um, and so this would have to, well, homeless people have to engage them with bettering their community around them. Um, there's like a dude that um, he blows the leaves off the trees, uh, off the streets that's nearby. He's homeless and he, um, and he helps to create that sense of like community and that he's, you know, being an active participant and, you know, creating a sense of reciprocal um, compassion that we learned in class. And then the third leg of the component is that each homeless person would have the profile. Um, and a GoFundMe metric in which someone that donates to that cause or to that person will help, you know, move the bar. They can see their progress that they're made. They can see the effect. Um, and this would obviously, the goal would be to get them into a tiny house. And so this is kind of predicated on the tiny housing model, um, which has been replicated in Utah and um, Seattle. It shows that like, if you give someone a, a home that's homeless, it's even, you know, home housing resistant so that they're, they're drug addicted and then they've been homeless for 20 years. If you give those people a house without any conditions that they are able to wean themselves off of drugs, they're able to get themselves help and they're able to move out to better housing and you know, open that spot up because they have that basic sense of um, security that all humans should have. All right, thank you very much. Um,